um did you see have you guys seen like the list of athletes that are going to be there for like individual yeah. at all or so i i'm pulling up an app i'm not saying the name uh but uh no free ads on this page. yeah no free ads <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah all right we're not uh, helping people out no, I help people out. I mean, all you, I have advertisers that are on my, like, well, not now, but on the screen during, on, on the videos and stuff like that. So, but, you know, they give me a promo code. So, and I'm waiting for Sharp and the Axe to give me one too. So we'll see about that. Um, anyway, so uh, on the men's side, you have Patrick Vellner, Roman Kredikoff, Ricky Garrard, Brent Fakowski, Colton Mertens, Nick Matthews, Samuel Cormier. I'm gonna. I knew I gotta mess that last name up. Uh, Guy Mayeros, uh, James Sprague, Austin Hatfield, Jack Farlow, Spencer Panchik, and Samuel Quant. You know, pretty much like a whole slew of individuals. I, and it looks like that Travis Mayer with Drew. No, he's gonna end up. Uh, on the team. Um, I he's think he's going, going team. He's doing oh, yes. team. He, oh, yeah. he originally was going to do both, but I bet you he decided for the Lord above that that's a terrible idea, as I've heard from numerous other athletes. Yeah, yeah, it's not it's not favorable to do both indie and elite, although well, it's also, fun. Yeah, it's but... an awful idea. <laughs> it's like it's it's in theory, if you're winning, it makes a great idea. Like Pat's the only person that I'm aware of that's doing both. Yeah, I feel like Pat will win indie again. Pat has to be the favorite. Yeah. I mean, he's won it, what, three, three times? I don't know. Brian Friend does not have him winning, which I found very surprising. Who does he have winning? I forgot who he has winning. Uh, is it Ro? Is, is Wait, Ricky? Adler's going team, right? Yeah, I didn't see him on the individual list. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Jeff's going team. I don't think I don't think Roman and Ricky are gonna push so hard on Indy. They're gonna save that for team. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Roman and Ricky are doing a team together, right? With uh, Crouch. Um, that I'm unsure of, but that's probably true. Yeah, they don't have uh, this app. Doesn't I don't think it does have the teams. Uh, uh, Brian thinks Gabby Magala and Ricky are. Oh. Yeah. Gabby's a good bet. Yeah, yeah. I could see that. It it's just, just going to come down to the events and like if it rains and if they adjust any of them. But I like mm -hmm. the events. I think the events are good. Yeah. But so uh you... like Pat I think has to be the favorite on the guy. Like I would say like there's something about it. I don't know how long Ricky's been in the US and if the time change is going to mess with him. Yeah. 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 No. As long as he doesn't get he as long like, as he doesn't yeah. like Oh, I, I, I was just saying, like, Pat just has a really good track record. It's hard not to, uh, you know, see that. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I th I think, I don't know. I mean, I I like Ricky r winning it, but obviously Patrick has that, you know, pedigree of winning it multiple times. And it, and it might be, it might be, you know, and do you have, like, anybody on the outlier for, like, third place or anyone that might? Get on the podium that you don't think that everyone else thinks. Nick Matthew. I could see Nick Matthew making a making a surprise run to the podium. And not that he's not talented. It's just that he he usually um I think having a shorter having a shorter um competition schedule favors him. Cause he's he can get hot. Like when he when he does well and he has that momentum going, he gets like an extra boost, and it's like okay, he you can't stop him. Mm -hmm. So, I could see I could see him doing that. I could see um, Golden Mertens bump up. No, these workouts aren't for him. Yeah. Oh man, that box jump step down is gonna murder him. Yeah, it's I don't see like I don't think these workouts are built for him by uh, any means i i did i did watch taylor self do the the box the, the box jumps with the step down and he mm -hmm. said it took way too long for <clears throat> it took way too long for the step downs for that workout but another guy that might do something uh henrik hapalainen i love mm -hmm. hapalapa poppiness <laughs> <laughs> 
Right, so I mean, I feel like that might that might be that might be fun to see. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's six feet, so I mean, he's a taller individual, so it's gonna be easier with those box jumps. But no, I think Luke Parker is gonna end up doing is gonna surprise more people. He usually stays a lot more fit ahead of these things. Um, mm -hmm. I think he's gonna end up being the guy that kind of sticks out. Um, and then on the female side, I have a feeling that um, Emily Rolf is gonna probably end up on the podium. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling about it. Yeah. And I think Ariel. Yeah, I, there's yeah. no like true. There's no true strength event this year, is there? Well, on the indie side, they have the okay, rep max bad. hang snatch, but it's like two attempts. But it's really like, which is probably cool for them. But it's also, I bet you everyone's like. I don't feel like this is enough. And it's like, yeah, that's yeah. probably right. I think yeah. it's – I just enjoy the team side way more at Wadapalooza than the mm -hmm. indie events um, because I feel like there's more favorites. Yeah, I think a lot of people do. Yeah. Um, so I'm I mean, really Wadapalooza is looking known for the team the, of three. Yeah, like, and that's what I'm looking for, especially since uh, Chandler and Noah kicked off Travis. Oh, I love that <laughs> the team, three, The three amigos – Replaced an amigo. Are no longer amigos at this competition. <laughs> yeah, they uh, replaced an amigo. So, hmm. <laughs> wow. Nah, no, that that's just, you know. All um, right. So who do you who do you got for who do, who do you got for first, second, second, third on the women's side? Oh God! Like now you're just like. I'll fine. I'll do it. I'll I'll go first if you if you want. Yeah, let's go. I'm, I'm thinking, uh, Rolf Lowen Magala. And I I want to say four and five. I I still think that probably Danny Spiegel will sneak in there. And just because I want to see it happen, I want to see Aaliyah Miller get in the top five. Okay, okay. So that's my dark horse. Do you do you think Daniel Brandon would be in the top five? Oh, I forgot that they left her off the list. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh my bad, yo! I got, I got to take that. Nope, Sorry, Danielle. <laughs> nope, too late. Sorry, That's it. Danielle. No, it's, it's done. It's done. Oh, oh damn! No. No, damn! No. Uh, if, no. hey, if if she actually sees it, she's like, "You didn't vote for me, really, dog." <laughs> like, maybe right, she'll, maybe she'll give you a hug like Sousa, like she did Sousa. So, <laughs> never mind. Anyway, um, so do you, so with that is that will that change everything since you have Daniel Brandon? No. On the list. Yeah, I would I would probably I think it would change some things because there is no like and this isn't a knock, but because, like you said, there's no real true strength, strength event that can like really hurt her. Mm -hmm. um, I think that she would definitely be up there, you know, second, second, third, right around there. That would switch mine up. And it's not that she has it's not that she's not strong. She's been working on it. It's just that like that top end strength is something that takes forever to build. So, but she's been working yeah. and it's definitely shown. So. All right. Hannah, who do you got? Uh, not in particular order, uh, but at least on the podium, I think Ariel Lowen, probably Danielle Brandon. I'm, Torn between uh, Gabby Magala and uh, Emily Rolf. Um, it really is just saying, like, okay, like how far down the leaderboard is like the snatch going to take Emily? That's like the one thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But I think, like, snatching wise, I think she can like keep up though. Like enough, you know? Yeah. So I mean, that, those that, are that, my that's my four. list. Yeah, that, that that's my four too. So, Xander, what do you got? I was gonna go guys. Okay. Um, All right, let's go like, guys. We talk, yeah, we didn't really we only talk about the same girls. It's like we're I just know gonna we're gonna take top. We're gonna build like Spice Girls and then just replace who's sporty Spice. So, um, <laughs> which is still always Danielle Brandon. If we're doing Spice Girls, it's like mm -hmm. yep, nope, sporty Spice is Danielle. <laughs> um, so guys, I think it's gonna end up the top three is gonna be a mix of Brent, Ricky, and Pat some mix up of that order roman is probably gonna be hanging right around there and then i think um spencer panchik is who i'm gonna end up picking Ooh, okay because i think he's gonna do really good on the olympic lifting event and then okay 
he's going to do really well um, on that, like, kettlebell lunge, like, the, the Circo. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Vic, what do you got? I mean, that's, like, I, I, that's a really good, that's a really good setup. I might throw in, like I said, Henrik Hapalainen. Uh, to get in, sneak into the top five, and then Nick Matthew. So I might replace Spencer and Brent. And then I like doing this. I I, I want to do this because I think it's cool to highlight some of the newer athletes that you see at this level. And one guy that I actually trained with who's going to be there at the elite level this time, his name is Drake Lewis. I'm looking to see what he does this year. Really excited. Got to train with him before at a previous camp. Awesome dude. Um, just excited to see him. I mean, that's part of what Waterpalooza is about. I want to see some of the people that I that I know go out and, you know, just send it and go for it and see mm-hmm. what happens. So looking forward to that. Anna, who you got? Um, I mean, same top four, but um, – I'll just go for like people that like I think are gonna be fun to watch. Um, and I'm excited to like see what they do. Um, everybody's on the or I feel like uh I mean I did crash, so I'm kinda on the Austin Hatfield train. There's like, you know, yep. the typical, you know, people who win crash end up going to the CrossFit games. Um I've always been a fan of John Wood. I went to the games with him in twenty one. He was on the backcountry team. Um, so it's been really cool seeing him like, you know, go indie and actually do really, really well. And, you know, like this past year, like not missing out by like too many spots. Um, and then my boy Tanner Blas is doing elite. So, uh, of course, like I want him to do a very well. So I'm very excited to see him too. All right, cool. Cool. Yeah. I'm just looking at, looking at them right now on this app. So, <laughs> <laughs> This name, this app, we shall not name. Yes, yes. But if you wanted to win money, you potentially could see it somewhere else and win yourself dollars. Yes, yes, true. <laughs> yes, um, which I might might try that. So I like a little gambling here and there. Why not? You know, free money. Oh, you're like, I'm gonna go to Disney World. I'm also gonna bet CrossFit. Yeah. <laughs> God, how degenerate of you, Florida man. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm taking the other. Damn it, on the reps. So. <laughs> 